It's Monday morning on Radio 1, and look who is here. Ooh. 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 So sleepy. Bright and early. Ooh. Morning, Gregory. Morning, Gregory James. You okay? I'm good. Yeah? I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. This is going to be... Well, it's kind of a terrifying game. Um, as part of Access All Areas, we thought every single day this week we could make a different Radio 1 DJ do Call or Delete. The advert for it says that they're going to touch us. Are they really? I'm really concerned about is it. it um, is it like Greg James Day today? <laughs> I don't know. Like Martin it, Luther King Day? It, I think it's a full day of Greg James. Well, public holiday? Yeah. So I get a day off then? Uh, no, you are in, but everyone else in the country is off. So everyone gets a day off apart from me, so I have to do it yeah. every... I have to run but you're all... off on Fern Cot on Tuesdays, <laughs> or whatever okay. it is, yeah. I have to run all the banks, run all the schools... Uh, Everything. We rushed off your feet today. I'm very busy. Yeah, we better be get off. It's going to be awful. <laughs> um, so we're going to do Call of Duty. It's going to be me versus you. Mm. Um, an insight, I guess, in Access All Areas into who actually is in the phone book of Greg James. Who do you think in there you would least like to call? Well, there's the bosses is all the bad one, isn't it? You don't want to because no matter how many times you go, oh yeah, it's for the radio, they, they, they'll, they still they'll, like it. they'll hate you a bit yeah. for it. Mm -hmm. So, I, I don't know, I think most people I will call be fine. Yeah? I think. Who do you reckon is the one person in there that you could sell for a lot of money? I'm talking like... <laughs> what, the, the number? Yeah, not the actual person. <laughs> <laughs> don't sell them. But like, who, who do you reckon is like the most uh, newsworthy person in your phone? Do you still text Madonna? Know. Madonna's not... No, I got, do you I, still WhatsApp Kanye? I, lo I left that number on my old phone. Yeah. Um, I don't know, really. Who's Michelle who's Obama? Here? She's not in here anymore. What? You used to be great, pals. Let me have a look. Let's have a look. So we've got Rihanna from Films. Wow. Ricky from the Kaiser Chiefs. Yes. <laughs> All the R's. Russell Kane. Yes. R R R S S S. Sarah Cox. <gasps> Mm. I'd love to get Sarah Cox. <laughs> Roy from Scouting for Girls. Yes! <laughs> Please say he's in as Roy from Scouting for Girls. <laughs> yes, look, look. Roy, it says Roy, yeah, just Roy Scouting Roy for Girls. Scouting for Girls, that's his business. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, quite uh, a lot oh, of funny people. Tiny, that'd be yes. a good, he'd be a good one to do, wouldn't he? Yes. He'd be good. Well, let's couple, scroll through. A couple of cricketers. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so everyone, really, from the world of media, sports, uh, and entertainment there. Okay, let's have a scroll through your phone. Okay. And see who it lands on. Which letter would you like to scroll from this morning, Greg James? Uh, you pick. I you think pick. you should go from C. We'll go from C. Go from C. Top one in C is Gemma Kearney, so we'll okay. go from there. Let's scroll down from Kearney. Uh, he's scrolling now, and stop. Okay. It stopped on... <laughs> It stopped on my old, uh, an old teacher of mine, weirdly. Really? Yeah. From which era? What, what era from of Greg my, James? My old geography teacher. From school? From school. Oh, wow. Not even like a uni teacher, like from school. Yeah. Do you speak to this geography teacher? No. No? It happened, it, I got his number when he texted in Radio 1 going, Wee, I'm in a minibus on a geography field trip, give, me a, give uh -huh. me a shout out. So I just texted him back going, there you go. And Mr. Glassbrook. Should we call Mr. Glassbrook? Can if we want. <laughs> Maybe he can be my rock correspondent. Yes. For Rock Week. Yes, we're doing Rock Week. Rock Week's on yeah, the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, would he be able to do it? <laughs> he has to read out facts about rocks over Metallica. That's right. the idea. That's not actually a bad idea. For, I mean, we've done worse on breakfast. <laughs> uh, hello? Mr. Mr. Glassbrook? You don't have to call me that anymore, but yeah, uh, yes, go on. Glassy. <laughs> How are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, I just, um, I've just come back from holiday. Yeah. And we are doing a feature on Radio 1 for Rock Week. Okay. And I wanted to work out if we could maybe use you as our rock correspondent, but do a twist and you'd just be talking about sedimentary and igneous and stuff. Oh, right. Rock Week. Yeah, get it? Um... <laughs> um yeah, I'm not... Well, depends what you decide to ask me. What Would it involve me being on the radio? Yeah, I think you'd be really good at it. Because you've got that... You've got, you know, you're, you're a good teacher. Good in front of an audience. Oh, well, well, thank you very much. Um, yeah, why Why not? Yeah, anything for a laugh. Well, let, let's just try it out now. So, I mean, for example, has anyone ever lost their hat in an oxbow lake? Uh, lost their hat in an oxbow lake? I'm sure they would have done. Uh, I lost. I, I, I remember going down a fjord, not quite an Oxbow Lake, on a boat, and the, the wind took it off. So I've, I've certainly lost the odd cap. What's the funniest hill you've ever seen? Um, th there are some uh, a sort of a, a an isolated hill is called a knoll. Um, so if you have two isolated hills or two knolls close together, 
you can you, your imagination can start to wander. Would you want to do a BBC Three show where we went round the world finding funny shaped mountain ranges? Would I want to do one? Well, because I could do the sort of the the light hearted bit, but you could back it up with sort of geography facts. Um, I don't know how many how many funny shaped hills you're going to find out there. BBC Three, BBC Three mountains. has quite a big budget for shows like that. There is there is scope, but I think you might be. I, I don't know. It's slightly tenuous, I suppose. But what about fire? Anything in particular to do with fire? How's it made? How's fire made? Well, I think you may need a science correspondent for that. Okay, Glassy. Thank you very much. I'll speak to my producer, and we'll see what we can do with Rock Week. All right. Cheers, mate. No speak to you soon. All right. All right. And you, bye. 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 I love Glassy (laughs) I think that was my favourite thing we've ever done Glassy because what was he on about? I don't know What was I on about? Why would you pull up and say What's fire? (laughs) (laughs) Oh I love Glassy (laughs) Glassy A level geography Oh my god Let's give Glassy's number out To everyone that's studying A level geography right now Oh my god. What a guy. What a guy. Uh, right, we're going to play a record, and then we're going to have a go on my phone. Uh, it's Greg James here. Uh, not me, that's you. I felt like I was you then. Did Access it, all areas into your brain. How did it feel being it me? It felt good, it felt sexy. Did it? Uh, but we're going to play a song, and then we're going to carry on Call or Delete. It's Monday morning on Radio 1, and we are doing Shock Horror on a Monday. We normally do this on a Wednesday, it's madness. Uh, we're doing Call or Delete with Greg James. Yeah. Yeah. Did Sorry, you like, did he didn't you, drink water as I said his name. Did so. you like Glassy? Um, I loved Glassy so much. Sedimentary Rocks. Rock Week. With Glassy. With Glassy. I love that. Igneous Rock. Oh, someone's calling me. Should I just answer it? Yeah. Hang on. Passes the lead. Uh, I don't know who it is. It just says unknown. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, missed it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, sure. they're gone. Who was it? They were unknown. <gasps> Could have been anyone. Do you have, have been, the Do you have the fear? Could have been glassy. Do you always have the fear? Do you ever answer unknowns? I always answer unknowns. I never answer unknowns. Because it could be, you know, anyone. Anyway, uh, we're going to have a go on my phone, but for now, I'm going to scroll. Should I go what from what letter? I'd like you to go from Z upwards. Okay, I can do that. I'm going to start scrolling when you want me to stop. Okay. I will. And whoever it lands on will call oddly. Begin. Okay. Mm, stop. Oh my God, this has landed on. Sarah Jane Crawford, <gasps> who is a presenter on One Extra, yeah. who we could get so good. Before we get into this, Sarah Jane Crawford, we called a few weeks ago, and she was like, why did you call me? Why did you call me? And she was getting all paranoid. So I said, oh, don't worry about it. It was just call her to leave. So she might be wary. You could you could call her and uh-huh. apologise for trying call to her, for call her to leave. Delete thing. Yeah. And just be like, oh, apparently you complained. But you could say... Apparently you complained to someone that I was prank calling you and I just wanted to say sorry. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Give me some words and I will get them in. Give okay. Me, give me three words. What should we go for? I will give you three words. Okay. Igneous. Igneous? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Igneous. Okay. <sighs> Oxbow Lake. Oxbow Lake. That's it, there's three. Oxbow Lake. Oxbow Lake. There's your three. Lake. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oxbow Lake. Okay, okay. Three words. Oxbow um, Lake. Oxbow Lake and Igneous. No, no, scrap Igneous. Oxbow Lake, that's all you need. Okay, well, let's call one extra, Sarah Jane Crawford. Hello? Hello. Hi, SJ. Uh-oh, what is it? I'm uh, scared. No, I was just calling because I called you last week when we were doing Call or Delete and I just wanted to call you to say sorry because I, I didn't know if you were mad at me because I texted you and you never got back to me. So I just wanted to make sure you were all no, right. No, I did. I, call, I did text you. Oh, you did? Oh. oh, I never got it. Yeah, no. Yeah, you replied. Oh, I, because you never texted me back, I got worried that I was in trouble with you. Don't be silly. Okay, good. I had a message from Reese. um and Ben saying that apparently a few people were like annoyed Radio 1 DJs and 1 Extra people that we were doing it so they just told me what? yeah so I no. have to, yeah so I have to just call everyone that I've done just to say <laughs> sorry oh my god that's awful is that what they said yeah I don't know who it was I don't know if it was you and if it was if it was you honestly it's fine but a few 
DJs had said like Oh my God, I swear on my life I would never... That's ridiculous. I love playing that game. I was cutting on Mr. Cool. Yeah, so a few people were like really annoyed and said I was like wasting their day and stuff. And I think I think like Greg said he was a bit annoyed because he was like... No, babe, yeah. I would never say that. It's just, it's been a bit stressful because I, I, I... Well, I'm on like... They said I'm on like a final warning now. So this is like... I just had to call oh, everyone and apologise. Yeah. Um, but they said it's like last warning and I'm sort of going to be out of here like an Oxbow Lakes if I don't apologise to everyone. So, um, but anyway, I'm going to be back in the office later on. Will you be around? Yeah, 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 I'm about, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure that you're, you're not mad when I see you face to face. <laughs> Are you actually serious about this? I'm as serious as an ox. Why do you keep saying ox? There's some little thing going on, isn't there? It's going all weird. Um, it just, I'll see you in the office at like one. It's going all a bit weird on the phone. Oh, I know you're doing... <laughs> <laughs> Your face when you hung up on it. <laughs> I'm just like, get out of it. <laughs> I'm like, why do you keep saying ox? <laughs> I didn't say ox. I didn't say I said oxbow lake. You know, they're going to get me out of it like an oxbow lake. <laughs> 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 that was funny. That was very funny. Um, okay, should we do one more? Let's do another. Okay. Yeah. Okay, should we do one more on yours? That yeah. was good. Okay, let's scroll through your phone, Gregory. Let's see who you can land on this morning in call or delete. Okay, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Okay, they see him scrolling. They <laughs> hate it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Why has that never happened that? before? Right in dirt. Chameleonaire. Chameleonaire. Oh my God. Yeah. Chameleonette. This is me rolling dirty. This is me riding dirty. Oh, it's riding dirty. Riding dirty, yeah. Um, so, who's it landed on? It stopped on the least dirty person ever, mm -hmm. Hugh Stevens. But a champion of that record. Uh, let's call Hugh. Why don't we call Hugh for, um, like, music advice? Say you're, you're, you want some, like, underground <laughs> brand new music to play on the show. I actually do this, though. Okay. But I can, I really need to mess with him. And every band that he suggests say, nah, rubbish. <laughs> nah, heard them. <laughs> Every everything he suggests. Everything he suggests, say no. <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. Hello, how are you? Good, what's going on? Yeah, I'm good, I'm just doing the dishes. Let's we need to put a gig in for the next couple of weeks, desperately. Yeah, what have I got coming up? I've got um do you fancy childish gambino at Coco's? Nah. No? Anything else? You might go see Chloe Howell on Thursday night in Camden. <sighs> no thanks. Uh, <laughs> got you out to please. <laughs> um, what else? Oh God, what, where else? Who else is on? I'm going to Paris to see Phoenix. Hello. It's a long way for that, isn't it? I know, yeah. Big fan, though. Big fan, so... The load's in. There must be something that I could enjoy. What, new stuff? Yeah. Um... <laughs> you know I rely on you for all this sort of stuff. Well, listen, the War Paint album's all right. Oh, I've heard bad things about that. You're not bothered about that, okay? Nah. Um, obviously, there's a foster of people. You're all over that. I don't even like that now. I think they've, okay. I think they've, <laughs> I think they've, uh, I think they've gone. All right. Well, if you can't help me out, then I'll just go and I'll just call Anne Nightingale. All right. Look, hang on. Um, dum Dum Girls. <sighs> People say, like, the people think that you are ahead of the curve. I think you're slightly behind it. What does that mean? You know exactly what it means. Goodbye, have a good day, and I'll speak to you about a gig soon. None of those ones you mentioned, they're awful. Just <laughs> 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 hang up on Hugh Stevens. I was like hanging up on Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Um, I love that. that she call, so good. Just, we call him back. <laughs> that needs to be a regular feature. <laughs> just call in Hugh Stevens and poo poo in his ideas. Oh, I always love feel, that guy. I feel terrible. No, I think yeah. he, that's fine. Um, Hugh, uh, Hugh, you're Greg. Uh, Greg, thank you for playing. Thank you for letting me do it. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was fun today, wasn't really it? Really fun. It was very, very good. Uh, Greg, thanks for playing, and I believe you are going to be the the focus of access all areas <laughs> all day. Yes, yeah, so you'll be accessing all of my areas between now and seven pm. I can't wait. <laughs> 